All right, let's get started. So we have this wiki archlinux.org and table of contents and all the information, frequently asked questions. Let's start with the installation guide and let's um, really get into the details of things. So uh, my benefit of my goal is that I learn something about it. So this document is a guide for installing Arch Linux. Okay, Arch Linux is an independently developed 64 bits. That's what it says here. Distribution that strives to provide the latest stable version of most software by following a rolling release model. Meaning they don't release a uh, like an Ubuntu, an 18.04 and an 18.10 or something like that. No, it just keeps updating. That's the idea of a rolling release. So Arch Linux is the same since it's based on Arch. The default installation is a minimal base system configured by the user to only add what is purposely required. So it's a minimal installation and you decide what you install. Let's just read uh, the capital letters here. Simplicity, modernity, pragmatism, user centrality, uh, versatility. Uh, indeed, you can have any desktop environment on it. That's what I love about it. And then some history. So, okay, so um, fine, we know that. And then we go back and we say, okay, that was this link and we follow the fact link. I've been reading some of the stuff uh, here, what actually architecture does Arch support. So 64 bits, that's what it supports. So called sometimes AMD 64. So a lot of information is here. Um, what should I get out of this? So it has the same file system hier hierarchy. So that's okay. We recognize it from other Linux distros. It's a do-it-yourself distribution. The user who assembles the system. So it's Lego in my vision, my idea. We built everything up on a red plate, you know, Lego, and you build everything up. Okay, so I have actually a nice picture up here where I try to to show you guys hey it's it's you build things up on hardware and the kernel and this one and that one that one this is for me lego yeah so that's what you do you build up your system um well yeah probably if you're a linux beginner it's not that easy but it can be done it just depends how many tutorials you've seen That's a, a big question always. Is Arch Linux a stable distribution? Will I get frequent breakage? Is the user who is ultimately responsible for stability in his own rolling release? When to upgrade merges necessary change when required? Tiny manner. It is indeed a do-it-yourself distribution. Complaints of breakage are misguided and unproductive since upstream chains are not responsible of Arch thefts. Well, my take on it, Arch Linux is quite stable. What does break from time to time are elements that are on the, on the, the, the AUR. So we have a lot of fixes already, how to fix things and how to fix the package build from Spotify or the Zeta Resembler. This was actually one of Arch, uh, an issue on Arch. This is AUR, Spotify, signatures that break, Th those are, Things that are most of the reason that is human. It's a human reason. Somebody changed the link. Somebody renamed things. Uh, forgot about the link. Uh, symbolic link it was in Zeta Resembler. So it's it's often a case of human um, error. But then you can fix it because you have the package built. You can edit. So is Arch Linux a stable distribution? Yes. Yes. Short answer. But you need sometimes to fix things. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, pop, 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 pop. Maybe something to here. Arch packages need to use unique naming convention and they have this one and that one.
So anyway, this is our exe file, so executable in Linux. You double click it and you can run it or sudo pacman minus u. So is there ever going to be a GUI installer? No, not a high priority of developers or users. It's the installation guide, the one we're going to follow that you need to follow. It's a command line method and that's it. Or you install Arch, uh, Arch Linux, of course, or Manjaro or Antergos. So these have graphical installers and are working on Arch base. People from Arch Linux will say it's not the same. Uh, sure, it's not the same, but it's still an Arch Linux distro. And of course, you should know if your PC is in 64 bits or not. Um, so why 64, blah, blah, blah. Can I switch? Of course you can't switch. You have to recompile everything. If you have, uh, you just go for, put in a, a new, I don't know how, how actually, but if you would go from 32 bits to 64 bits, of course you need to reinstall everything. Your home folder, yeah, you can put your home folder, your file somewhere else. So that's the frequent asked questions. Like I said, I want to learn something from it. I never took the time to read it. And um, next up is help reading and that's a very important one. 